Okay, Rev with Rev It Up Car Fanatic Productions. We're working with my neighbor's 2013 Kia Soul Plus. Got a 2.4 liter engine in it. And uh, it's got no air coming out of the vents on heat or AC, but I can hear the switching from the AC over to the heat, but nothing's coming out. And um, what I do is I took the throttle pedal out, which is right here. I took that loose. So up in here, I can get to the resistor, I mean to the blower motor, pull the wire out and uh, connect it uh, ground and positive to it. And the motor didn't spin. So it's definitely the blower motor. So we're going to go ahead and take the brake pedal out. That way we have room to get the um, blower motor out. We got to take this kick panel off down here too to get it off and uh, get the new blower motor and get this thing working. We tested the uh, fuses and the relays and they were good as well. So these two screws come out, pull the panel off. This operates the headlight, push this in, pull out. OBD port. Stick a screw driver in between here, push in that way, and pop it out. Same thing on the other side. And now we got just a little bit more access. Um, so now what I got to do is get this brake pedal off. And then um, I got the four screws off. There's two bolts up in there I got to get this connected to a clamp. And I got it off of the, the brake. It's with this, with the... Uh, a carter pin so we took the brake similarly out as a whole it goes in up there there's a top bolt that goes through that one and then four through that one we took the brake wire loose right there for the brake pedal and then there was a uh, a wire harness that went in here all you got to do is unclick that off and then you twist and pull and bring that out sideways and you'll get it done. It'll take a while, but you'll have it done. And here it is. And this is how I test it. One's positive, one's negative. And I know this is a good 12 volt battery. And uh, when I put my leads on, uh, that motor should spin and nothing happens. If I change leads over to this one, and connect it to that one nothing so we're on the way to get the new blower motor and put it in and we'll we'll demonstrate how it will work with just that battery right there we'll be right back so this is how we prove it's the blower motor so i got one in already i'm just going to touch it and watch it spins see that i connect it to it see it spins so we know it definitely was the blower motor so now this is spinning so let me put this in and uh we'll see if we get some air going okay we got the blower motor in and as you can hear it she's blowing she work on all four speeds you can listen to it there's high it's blowing out nice and cold so that is how you check your blower motor make sure your fuses are good make sure your relay is good and if that's not you got to get to the blower and get a 12 volt battery with some leads connected and if that blower doesn't spin then it's going to be that blower motor the blower motor spins then it's going to be the resistor the blower motor resistor so we got the blower motor in so we got to put the accelerator cable back in we got to put the brake cable back in then put this kick panel back in and uh we'll be all set so not going to bother to show how to hook everything back up it's pretty self-explanatory uh just a bunch of bolts to take out a bunch of bolts to put back in the brake light switch to put back in and assembly and you're you're good to go rev it up car fanatic productions give us two thumbs up like and subscribe god bless I don't know if I remember to say an old like old man like me with back problems and hip problems I just had to take the seat out more room to get up under there do what I have to do 
and to get that top screw in that's way up underneath there you can go through here you can't really see it but there's a screw up top that you go through the pedal and you can uh, get that access through there to take that out and put that screw and then there's the four screws that go there one two three and four we got to put down then there's three screws and then we connect the throttle pedal and uh put this kick panel up and we'll be good to go it's so tight working under here i tell you well there's the uh throttle switch that i put back in and there's one two and three bolts up top that goes in and then you got to snap the uh electric or the throttle pedal uh back in place and we're good to go so we got that snapped in. So we just gotta tighten down these bolts. We already got the clip in, the pin for the brake. We got all five of those locked in. The brake is working. So we got all that set. We gotta put this panel back on and this kick panel. And then uh, we're done. Whew. Not a very easy job, but we can knock it out. Rev it up. Crowd production. God bless. Hit the like and subscribe button. Have a blessed day. Now all that's left to do is take the driver's seat. Bolt it back in. Put those two plugs back in. And uh, take it for a test drive. Make sure the throttle is uh, doing what it's supposed to do. And meanwhile, I had it charging the whole time because it had a weak battery. I'm going to have to clean that post off right there and get that uh garbage off of it make it look a lot cleaner